Good morning, church, and welcome to worship this morning. The Lord has richly blessed us with a great weekend to celebrate and to gather together to worship and to uh, maybe even spend some time with family, whether it's uh, remotely or uh, in social distance cookouts or whatever it is. Uh, we, we praise the Lord for a beautiful weekend to be out and about and uh, to be encouraging to one another, even from a distance. A couple of things I want to bring to your attention as far as uh, announcements this week. Uh, please, I'd like to encourage you to share the links for our worship service on Sunday morning to share that with those who, uh, in your spheres of influence and to use it as a tool to encourage and bless them. Um, whether you use it from the email we get uh, and that I send out or uh, via the Facebook as well, please be sure to be sharing those things. Again, those spheres of influence are important. Um, I've been thinking about a question that came up uh, in our discipleship focus group a, a week or so ago and uh, to realize that how do you come alongside as far as the Mother's Day message, how do you come alongside as an older woman to a younger woman? And so uh, the challenge I'd like for us to think about is that you begin with your sphere of influence, uh, your family. How are you impacting your family for the kingdom of God? And then as you move out from that, how are you uh, identifying those that you come in contact with, whether it's from uh, your children or grandchildren, how do you encourage those people as well and you continue to work out? So scripture wants us to care for those of the household of faith first and then move out from there. And sometimes we get uh, caught up in thinking that in, in order to make the most powerful influence, I need to go way over there uh, or way over there, as opposed to realizing that, hey, there's a, there's a place for us to minister right here at home. Uh, and not to use that then as an excuse not to go there, but to realize that it begins at home and continues to uh, go out in concentric circles so that we're influencing that sphere of influence in, in a radical and powerful way. Also, uh, I'd like to encourage you to tune into our Zoom meeting. So we've, uh, we've added a discipleship focus group on Tuesday morning uh, at 10 a.m. And we have one at 7 and I'm in the process of contemplating how to reinstitute uh, Wisdom Wednesdays, and we're uh, trying to work on that as a, a means for us to continue to grow uh, in our relationship with Christ as well. So um, be on the lookout for information pertaining to that. Prayer meeting on Thursday night at 6, and uh, that will be a time to uh, pray together and to be encouraged in our walk together as well. Youth group on Friday night, uh, we're studying 1 John, we're in chapter 2. Uh, please, students, uh, continue to work on that homework I sent, uh, and we'll continue to send. Uh, men's Bible study at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, so we want to encourage you in that. Uh, we praise the Lord for what He's doing in our midst despite uh, this uh, situation, and we trust that He will continue to guide and direct our hearts as we serve Him and glorify him. God bless your worship this morning.